Robert McTeer was born in 1890 in Victoria. He grew up on his parents' farm. In March 1917, he joined the army in the 23rd Australian Infantry Battalion, 2nd Division. Two months later, he left Australia. After a long trip, he arrived in France at Le Havre in November 1917. From there, he got to reach the rest of his battalion in Flanders with the 2nd Division. Welcome to the Mount Saint-Quentin on the battlefields of the Somme. This is a memorial to the 2nd Australian Division, Robert Mactier's division. It commemorates all the battles fought by his division. The main places where he saw action are listed there. Anel, villers bretonneux and of course the Mount Saint-Quentin, where we're standing right now. We are going to follow in the footsteps of Private Bactier in the last days of August 1918, when his battalion was chasing after the Germans along the valley of the Somme. Twenty-eighth of August 1918. The 23rd Battalion received the order to move from Capi to Herbecourt, the next objective. It's nearly three weeks since the beginning of the Allied offensive. Australian troops are exhausted, but they still push forward. Leaving the village, they pass across an old German airfield. Do they know that it was from here that a German pilot, Manfred von Richthofen, also known as the Red Baron, the Ace of Aces, took off for his last flight a couple of weeks before? I'm standing in a field near Herbecourt, the village behind me. The village was the objective of the battalion. Its capture went very well indeed. There was no opposition except three German soldiers who were just waiting to surrender. So where are the Germans? In August 1918, it becomes obvious that the German Empire is starting to collapse. All the offensives launched in the spring have failed. The morale is very low, the German soldiers are starving, and many of them just want to surrender. But they still have their strong lines of fortifications on the other side of the Somme River. Private Mactier and his battalion remained in Herbecourt until the 31st of August, when his battalion was ordered to cross the Somme River. Cléry sur Somme. It means that the town of Cléry is on the Somme River. This is the exact spot where Robert Mactier and his battalion crossed the river on the 31st of August 1918, on the bridge just behind me. The bridge had been destroyed, but it was very quickly repaired. Hundreds of Australians passed on the other side of the river. Now they were ready to attack Peronne on the Mount Saint-Quentin. The Mount Saint-Quentin is a hill just north of Peronne. For most of the time in World War I, it was in German hands. Because of its location, it was a key position controlling the access to the river. In 1916, it was used as an excellent observation post. Then the Germans fortified the hill, bunkers, dugouts, machine gun posts, and an impressive network of trenches. There were two 
German trenches running here. The Australians had been fighting hard to take them. Now the final objective was the top of the hill, the Mount Saint-Quentin over there. The Germans had led a successful counterattack on the day before, and they had set barricades in the trenches to stop the Australian ad advance. So the 23rd Battalion couldn't move forward. His commanding officer sent a runner, Robert Mactier, to find out more. He quickly understood the situation. He jumped over the trench, threw a grenade at the first German machine gun position, then rushed to another post. He spotted a third machine gun nest, took the position, and then he saw another one, just before he was killed by enemy fire, in a field just behind me. Robert Mactier was 28 years old. For his action during the Battle of Mount Saint-Quentin, Robert Mactier was awarded the Victoria Cross, the highest award in the army. He is buried at M. Monacu in a small cemetery named after the farm beside it, a peaceful place for a soldier who is so far away from his country.